I have a strong reason that the die is cast, as they say. There is already a predetermined action that uh, is on the making. There is a strong reason to suspect uh, that. But having said that, unfortunately for us, trust has died. Mistrust is blossoming right uh, and left. What we heard is, is not a message of peace, so it's a message of warning, one after the other. But I would like to remind Member State that uh, the country that has passed through many ips and webs of politics as a proud African country that has withstood many challenges in the past will definitely overcome the challenges that we are facing today. We might look powerless in the face of a block of countries, which we have faced it during the Second World War, but I want to assure you, Mr. Chair, the spirit of our soul is strong. That soul is not only to stand to be an Ethiopian, but also to bring peace and as well as resolve our challenges. We cannot let the fate of uh, 120 million people into a handful of experts. But having said that, we will always welcome well-meaning actors, but not those who already made the decision to condemn and censor and put us to death. I would say, forgive them. They know not what they do. Therefore, as a government, all, I can assure that all perpetrators of human rights violation will be accountable. We have to do it for our own, not to please some organization or experts. We know that lasting peace can only be achieved with justice and accountability for the crimes committed in all regions. But that has to be country-owned. Thank you, Mr. Chair.